Avast ye internets, it's Captain Mintbeard. Ah, Forgato, quit quit doing that, buddy. People don't like that. In the last one, we had an impromptu boss fight. Talked some more with the the bro do you even lift bird, because he lifts and that's how he can walk on his wings, one would assume. Now we're walking around the flooded caverns. Oh yeah. I was ambushed by a strange creature that appeared to have a face of a cat, but also kind of a skull mask thing. Kind of a Casey Jones looking cat guy in a plane. All right, but now we're in the flooded caverns and uh, we met Mortimer the Mole Man. Right, Mortimer the Mole Man, who tasked us with finding a golden ant. So we'll find out if any of those things will happen this time. Oh. And let's go back in the water. Oh, some more I need an adult fishes. Oh, got me. I'm getting better at dodging them, but they, they still can get me. Alright. Oh. Looks like, from, judging from that fast stream down there, if I go down this way... Ah, oh, well, I guess the water just comes out there. And I need to be careful, because I'm going to die if I'm not careful. See? Just like this. And then I would have to go all the way back to the save point, and that would make me very sad, so I need to be careful. Nope. Okay, good. Some health, some health. Okay, we got a little safety. Just a little. Not a lot. But just a little. All right, a little better. All right, things are looking up. As we go up the mountain, things are looking up. And oh, there we go, another save point. Good. Okay, um, we've got to kill. Have to fa not fail at killing this. Stupid golden, not golden ant. Hey, you guys see this? The door is, the door is open. Why is it open? Can I not, is it broken? That's weird. Okay, I'm not imagining that. Okay, that's it, okay. Downhill. Hopefully things are not going to go downhill from here. I mean, they will if I can't hit the stupid thing. Okay. Alright, and over here. Alright. And more of those guys. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, if this golden ant doesn't show up soon, how am I going to get to Mortimer? I mean, I figured it would be something where I would, you know, grab it with the tongue and then walk back to his house, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's like a, an item or something, you know, like a, a quest item, you know, that I'll just have it with me. I'm not jump. Should I jump off that? I kind of want to. Yeah! Oh, oof. No purpose. Okay. Oh, and I surprised the heck out of that ant, which that's pretty cool. All right, well, so let's climb back up. Onwards and upwards to the top. Okay. Get some more coins. There's a springy. Springy dingy. Okay. But it's called downhill, so we should go downhill. Shouldn't we? I mean, we do have the option of going uphill. Maybe we'll get something if we... Now, I'm trying to think. Can someone help me out here? What Mario Bros. game is that from? Is it 3? Is it 4? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go this way for the moment. Go this way for the moment. Finish climbing up before- ooh! Before we go down. Did you all see that big coin? Because I know I did. Oh, and the ant walked through the wall. Huh. Thank you for cluing me into the secret wall. And we can just jump, hopefully, over that fire plant of death. Can we eat it? We eat it? No. Okay. Ow. But I can eat this little one. 
and kill it. Ow. And get back my health. Okay. Yeah, I see that coin down there. Oh. Yeah, you want to follow me down here? Do it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Alright. There's some more. Whoop. More coins. Yeah, I know that wasn't exactly graceful. But, you know, it'll be okay, right? Propeller tail. A rare propeller tail marlin. Okay. Alright, can we swim through? Okay. Since there was that one invisible wall, I'm now going to be, like, obsessed with the possibility of there being invisible walls. Which might make this Let's Play take quite a bit longer than, you know, it has in your right to. So that's okay. No! Get away from me. Descent to town. Hopefully there will be another fountain and or save point before what I am is assuming going to be another impromptu boss fight. Since, you know, Mr. Mr. Bird standing on his wings guy. I need to come up with some sort of name for these guys. I don't know what their names are. I mean, seriously, I mean, go look this up on, this game up on GameFAQs. There aren't, there's not one. There is not one. It does not exist. Okay, let's save. Alright, and then let's press on. It says, Chapel's General Store, just ahead. Honest trade and thrifty prices. All right. Chapel's General Store. All right, and I see some houses in the background. So this must be town. Oh, well. Oh. Ah. The tongue extender will extend the length of your tongue. The price is 70 coins. Do you want to buy the tongue extender? Not just yet. I don't want to talk to... Hi, Chapel. Hey, welcome to the store. Take your time. Look around. Alright, I will do that. I have to actually... Okay. This is a crystal talisman which will boost your mana recharge rate. This one is quite strong, but the price is steep. The price is 420 coins. You don't have enough money. This is a crystal talisman, which will boost your mana recharge rate. It's weak, but you can't beat the price. The price is 80 coins. Do you want to buy this lesser mana talisman? Nope. I want to see everything we got. That's tongue extender. How much do they want for that tongue extender? 70 coins. Not just yet. And what's this? The heart will give you an extra health point. The price is 40 coins. Do you want to buy the heart? I uh, want fish looking around first. What's this? Oh, it's a soda machine. Is it, is it actually using my money? I wasn't looking. Crap. Okay. All right. Well, let's buy the this. Let's start with the heart. Have a heart, Forgato. All right. And why not? Let's extend your tongue. Do it! Okay, and then we can't afford the other one, so let's get this one. So we can afford it. Alright. So that's cool. Let's see how it's long. Whoop. A little bit longer. Okay. Hi, Chapel. Hey, welcome to the store. Take your time. Look around. It says the same thing. Okay. Alright. So that's cool. More health, longer tongue. Can you get up there? No. Alright. Let's press on. Let's save Crevice Village. Okay. Alright, and there's another teleporter. So you know you know what? Let's go see how Pato's doing. Back in Fogato Grotto. 
Um, oh, he's not down here. Oh, there he is. Our potato -y friend. Maybe not. I mean, he has a light ball on his head and what looks like could be a tail. I don't know. Maybe he's a potato angler fish thing with boxing gloves. I don't know. Anyways, let's talk to him. So, what happened to lunch? I got tired of waiting and ate by myself. You got a problem with that? Look how angry I am. Leftovers are in the fridge. Um, okay, thanks. Yeah, I said it backwards. What? Do something. Okay, fridge, fridge, fridge. No, no fridge. Water? No, no water. Okay, let's look around a little bit more in the house. Looking around, anything in Forgato's room? Because, I mean, I don't know. They might have secret stuff. If you don't know, I don't know. No one knows. Not even Game Facts knows. There's no facts for this game, seriously. Not a one. Alright, let's go back to the teleport law. Teleport me, teleport law, to the world map. Let's go back over to Crevice Village. I'm, I'm really trying not to laugh at the name of that village. Hey! What's good, my bird man? Glad I caught you. You'd better be aware of this. The cave that leads into the town has a sentry posted in it. Milgram's trying to seal lock the town so no one gets in or out. That might have been why he tried to take out that bridge. If you're thinking to go in there, you might reconsider. Well, yeah, I was gonna go in there. I mean, what are we gonna do, sit in our butts here? I like your attitude, Forgato. You might be a jobless little jerk, but, you know, you got a good attitude. No, no. But I was hoping we'd go in and force. Against Milgram? Really? I mean, on paper, that sounds like a good enough plan. But I'm going to be a jerk here and poke some holes in it. Fair enough. I'm not particularly fond of it myself. Firstly, Milgram's got lots of followers. Tons of them. He runs an entire city. I mean, even if we arm the whole town, they're grossly outnumbering us. Plus, they're pretty mobile too, planes and such. We might get the drop on them for a bit, but we'd be surrounded in no time. Brute force against brute force won't work. We'd be like, ellipsis, a bull butting heads with a freight train. Yes, oh dear. I see what you mean. There's got to be something we can use to our advantage. But numerical superiority isn't it. Anyways, about the cave ahead. It's just one guy, right? To my knowledge, yes. Maybe I can talk my way around him. Worst comes to worst, I can just run for it, right? I do hope so. Good luck. Oh, so I teleported there and I came back over there. And then there. Okay. Alright, so... Game has been saved. Is the store back over here? Okay, good. Alright, I got slightly disoriented from the teleporting. Oh, and our bird homie is gone. Oh well. And remember kids, be careful, don't touch the steam engines. Even when you're trying to jump over them, they'll still hurt you. And let's see what's down here. Some coins and, oh, a plus five coin, that's cool. And here's this cave, Forgato was talking about. Crevice Village and some sort of gate. You know, we're coming up on 15 minutes. I'm kind of hesitant about walking past this. So, in the next one, we'll go into this cave past Crevice Village and find out what's up. Thank you guys for watching.